this is Janet Eifert. In this video I want to show you how to work with my QTS multiplication workbook. This is the worksheets to practice your multiplication to pass the QTS test and that will be the mental maths test. If you need any more videos or workbooks on this test please go to janetplusmaths.co.uk for more workbooks. So let's get started on learning our times tables and multiplying bigger numbers mentally. So how do you start learning your times tables? You learn multiples, you count in multiples. And these are the multiples you need to know. Now I think it's a good idea to learn them up to 12. So this means 1 times 2 and 2 times 2 and 3 times 2 and so on. So I would go on my fingers, learn to count in fours, count in fives and so on. And that is a good way to start. After you've done that, let's go to the next sheet. So what I have in this workbook, I have for every time stable, I have pages for you to practice. So you print off, if you don't know your seven times stable, you print off this sheet and this is then the way to practice it. To fill in the sheet and then you will check your answers also in the workbook. So now I want to teach you how to do certain times tables which you might not know that is easier to learn than others and little tricks to remember your times tables. Now some students come to me and they don't know their nine times table or they know this method of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and then zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But that means they have to write it out. So you don't want to do that. You just want to know randomly. If I say to you, what is six times nine? You want to know that it is 54 without writing this down. Or maybe the finger method can work, but it's long, you have to put down your pencil. Let's see if we can teach you another method to do it quickly. Now what's important to see that the digits in your 9 times table add up to 9. Because 1 plus 8 is 9, isn't it? 2 plus 7 is 9. 3 plus 6 is 9 and so on. So that's the first thing, very important. So if I said to you, what is 6 times 9? You would think 1 less than 6 is 5. And how many do I add to 5 to get 9? I add 4. OK, if I say 5 times 9, I want to think 1 less than 5 is 4. How many do I add to 4 to get 9? I add 5. 9 times 9. 1 less than 9 is 8. How many do I add to 8 to get 9? 1. OK, 4 times 9. 1 less than 4 is 3. How many do I add to 3 to get 9? I add 6. OK, just for the record, 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. And then 1 plus 8 is 9 again. So sometimes you have to do it in steps. 12 times 9. Split it up in 10 times 9 and 2 times 9. You should know that 10 times 9 is 90. 2 times 9, less 1 less than 2 is 1. And I add 8 to make 9. In other words, 108. And 1 plus 0 plus 8 do give me 9. So the digits add up to 9. Hopefully this helps you with your 9 times table. Let's move on. I just wanted to show you for an 8 times table. Now some people struggle with an 8 times table. They don't, for instance, know that 6 times 8 is 48. But they might know that 6 times 4 is 24. Now maybe you can see that twen if you double 24, you get 48. So, because 4 times 2 is 8, you can just double these numbers to get these numbers. 
So if you, for instance, don't know that items ID 64, you can think items 4 is 32 and double 32 is 64. Okay, and talking about items ID 64, I ate and I ate and I was sick on the floor. That is the way to remember that one. So we can then move on. Okay, one more thing here is this one. Think of the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8, they follow each other, don't they? So 7 times 8 is 56. There is another one that works like that, and that is 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 4 give you 12. Okay, so now we can move on. And the same as I said previously works for your 3 and your 6 times table, because the 1 is double the other. You might know that 3 times 3 is 9, double 9 is 18, so 3 times 6 will be 18. Okay, but really these methods cannot work for this test. You have to know them fast, you have to know them really fast. So this is just something to help you in your learning process. But eventually, if I said your item 6, you must immediately know it is 48. But if that is sort of a little backup method, for any other test it would have been fine for this mental math test. You really need to be really quick. Now remember here, you know your 9 times table. 1 less than 6 is 5, and I add 4 to get 9. You know that one. And the rest... I mean, you easily know your 2 times double, your 1 times double, you might know your freeze. So, eventually, maybe, the only ones you really struggle on is 6, 7, 8, because you know a 9 quickly now. Okay, another thing about your 3 times table is just to quickly see 3, 6, we've got 3, 6, 9. Now, can you see 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 5 is 6. 1 plus 8 is 9. There again you have your 3, 6, 9. Oopsie, 9. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 plus 7 is 9. So again your 3, 6, 9 repeats. And here, 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 6, 9. Again your 3, 6, 9 repeats. Therefore, if you look at the visibility rules, a number in your 3 times table, the digit, will add up to a number in your freedom table. Mostly when it's small numbers, it will add to 369. If it is bigger numbers, it will add the digits will add up to a multiple of 3. That's what we call it. Okay, obviously, because 6 is even, these answers will always be even. So if you times any number with even, you will get a even answer that is also a good something to remember. Okay, let's move on. We're going to have a quick look at our 11 dumps table. Now you might think, why do I look at this? Because the 11 dumps table is so easy. Everybody knows it up to probably 10 times 11, 11 with a zero and then the problem start. So let's quickly look at a method. If I have 23 times 11, my answer is 23 and my middle number 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay. If I have 31 times 11, my answer is 3, 1 and 3 plus 1 is 4. So my middle number I add up. So if I had 11 times 11, my answer is 11, and 1 plus 1 is 2, go in the middle. If I had 12 times 11, my answer is 12, 1, 2, in the middle goes 1 plus 2 is 3. So that would be a way to know your 11 times table, that will only work, this method, this quick method that I show you, will only work when those two digits add up to a number of 9 or less. 
but that is quite useful I do find it quite useful to use this quick method otherwise I will say do if you have to do 12 times 11 you can do 10 times 11 and 2 times 11 so 10 times 11 is uh, 110 isn't it 2 times 11 is 22 and that add up to 132 also a bit longer while well, this 1 plus 2 is 3 would have gone a lot quicker that only works for times by 11 ok let's move on now 12 times table I do find that this can be really useful to know your 12 times table especially if you have to simplify a fraction like for instance if you have something like 72 out of 120 that fraction then and you can see they both in your 12 times table then you can divide by 12 and this will be easy when you know your 12 times table 72 divided by 12 is 6 120 divided by 12 is 10 and then you've got the fraction 6 out of 10 which again you can half 6 divided by 2 is 3 10 divided by 2 is 5 isn't it in other words knowing your 12 times table can be quite helpful if you don't know it and you feel it's too many times tables to learn you simply cannot do this you have to work it out by just simply splitting it up so if you want to work out 6 times 12 split it up in 6 times 10 and 6 times 2 so 6 times 10 is 60 6 times 2 is 12 and together they add up to 72 okay so I will help you to practice this let's move on in this sheet so here I teach you for instance 5 times 12 it is 5 times 10 and 5 times 2 and that is 50 and that is 10 so 50 plus 10 give you 60 so I have a lot of sheets like this where I teach you how to split it up now some students don't like it they simply want to follow this method and you can of course follow this method 5 times 2 is 10 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6 you can of course follow this if this is faster but I would say 90% of students do find for this test this method helps them to work a bit faster so therefore I've got a couple of work sheets on this on how to split it up and how to practice doing this fast now also what I have is mixed time tables in this workbook so if you would click on the link below download this there will be loads of practice this is already page 29 there's quite a lot of pages you can print it off as many times as you like and practice those times tables until they come fast enough what I also have in the workbook is the ones with the zeros added to it in other words what you will do is let's look at this example 9 times 9 is 81 and then we add 1 2 3 zeros don't we okay 11 times 9 is 99 and we add a zero to that answer so again you would practice for every time stable 1 to 9 and although no I think it goes to 12 you will have those with the zeros added to it so more practice and also quite big numbers you can multiply now you can try this if you want to pause the video and then I'm moving to the answers there's your answers so pause the video and check them we're moving on and there's some mixed times tables for you to practice pause the video to do that and we're moving to the answers now and there's your answers so this is will give you an idea how this workbook works 
Now, again, there's another one where you split these up. So pause the video, try this. I'm moving now to the answers. There's your answers. Please check and see if this method can make you maybe a bit faster. Okay, we're moving on now to another one times by 19. So some students, if I say, oh, what is 4 times 19? They would say, I don't know my 19 times table. Well, I don't know it either. I quickly work it out by splitting it up and that works for any maths. Splitting it up in little steps and it is so much easier. Pause the video, try this. And there's your answers. Pause the video to check. Okay, I'm moving on to another mixed worksheet. Okay, let's look at an example here. You can pause the video if you want. Quickly check if you can do this. If you find this hard, I will work through a couple with you. Number 41. 50 times 130. I will ignore the zeros and that just say what is 5 times 13. And that I would do as 5 times 10 and 5 times 3. 5 times 10 is 50, 5 times 3 is 15. So that is 65. So 5 times 13 is 65 and I add two zeros to that. Okay, pause the video, you try the rest. I'm moving to the answers now. There you go, there's the answers. Now how did you get on with these? Could you do them? Quite big numbers you can multiply now, isn't it? Um, let's look at this one. We would say 16 times 3, which we can do as 10 times 3. And 6 times 3. 10 times 3 is 30. 6 times 3 is 18. You add it and you get 48. So 3 times 16 is 48 and I have two zeros that I need to add to that. Okay, hopefully the methods... This is enough for you to do for the QTS test. I think if you follow these methods you should be able to do most questions with multiplication. The only other thing I can say, if you do get other double digits, which is quite hard, then you have to look at my decimal number multiplication, because there I will show you how to do those ones fast, especially if you times by 25 or 2.5 or 75 or 0.75, so on. I will show you quick methods to do it there. If you go to my website, janetplusmaths.co.uk, you will find all the worksheets to download, all the workbooks and everything you need to become really quick and fast on your mental maths. Thank you so much for listening.